Okay, so I did it one more time. I'm going to have to wrap this up. Um, but hell is not empty. And, um, you know, Christ died for all whom the Father gave unto him, as recorded in John 17. Not for the whole world, but for all whom the Father gave unto them. And he will lose none. Okay, so to wrap this up, um, you need to recognize Christ as the meaning of Christmas. Uh, he is the primary, uh, He is the only reason for the season. Okay, we worship Christ and Christ alone. He is our Savior and our God. He became a man, He will always be a man, a God man, equal with the Father and the Holy Spirit. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld His glory, glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, in John chapter 1. So that's who we worship. That's why we worship. That's what Christmas is to be about. Amen. So God bless you. I uh, wish you a happy and blessed New Year. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Stay focused. Stay in the Word of God. Stay in prayer. Don't turn to the right to sin or to the left to temptation. Don't turn. Keep your focus. Stay straight in the Word of God. Okay? Hold your peace. Hold the peace of God. Uh, know that God will deliver you from every temptation. As the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation is taking you with that which is coming on man. God will provide a way of escape. And you will not have to bear more than you can endure. God will always carry you through it. Don't cave in. Okay, Your body is to be a living sacrifice unto the Lord. And holy unto the Lord. All right. Uh, he died for us, and therefore we uh, are to live for Him. He gave His life for us, we are to give our life for Him. Okay, That's the meaning of Christ. That's who we celebrate. We celebrate a risen Savior, an awesome God, an awesome Savior, uh, who is always with us, was tempted in all like manners as we get without sin. He's able to help us in time of need. For the eyes of the Lord, for Second Chronicles 16, 9, search to and throw throughout the earth that he may strongly support those whose heart is completely his. Amen. May our hearts and our bodies, our minds, our hands, everything about us 